As a rich aroma fills the air, I'll show you how ordinary coffee can transform into a magical medium of creating stunning artwork. Watch me as I demonstrate three different paintings from delicate brush strokes to bold splatters. For this exercise, all you need is a teaspoon of a coffee and a teaspoon of a water. Depending on your preference, you can always adjust the coffee and the water according to your own value scale. Now let's apply the mixture onto the piece of a paper. I'm using the watercolor paper 300 GSM and this is just a regular consistency of espresso coffee. You can use any instant coffee and the ratio can be according to your choice. As you can see, the value is very light right now. That means if you want to make the darker value, you can add more coffee into this. But right now I'm happy with the lightest value because as wet on wet technique of watercolor painting, we always start with the lightest value. If I want to make this value more lighter, instead of adding water in this coffee mixture, I will directly take the water clean my brush and then just gently spread with the water and bring the value lighter. Back and forth movement of your brush and create the lightest value you can by adding only the water. Now we will try to use the instant coffee in which I have used more coffee and less water. Let's see the consistency of this one. The consistency is a little bit thicker than the previous one. But let's see what the shade look like. Now, if I want to create lightest tint of this color, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to add water directly and blend it on the paper instead of using water in this. So clean your brush, take the water and just gently spread it all the way down or according to your preference. Now I really want to make this one a bit darker. So on this side, I have more coffee. So you can see the consistency is really thick. And let's try this one. Whoa, yes, definitely. More coffee, the darker shades, less coffee, the lightest tint. The dark shade will help you to create the depth after you finish with your first few layers. So this is how you create your value chart first before you start with any painting, whether it's an animal or um, landscape or portrait or just uh, autumn leaves. Try to create different values, get familiar, get comfortable with your shades and then start with your painting. So this is the exercise which is very important for you to start with your coffee painting and now let's start with our final project. Thank you.